before. This is unbelievable. You've never been to Brooklyn or you've never <laughs> been to the BAM? To the BAM. I, I have see. been to Brooklyn, yeah. You look fantastic. You just Thank had you. a baby last month. This yeah, is ridiculous. Well, I'm wearing all the Thank you! <laughs> I'm the first one <laughs> in the history of the world. No, was it a tiny me. little baby or a normal sized baby? A normal sized baby. Wow. And I, this is my second baby, and it was much easier this time. So thank goodness for that. And uh, yes, his name's Matthew, and Matthew, he's, nice. uh, he's an angel. Classic. Yeah, he's so sweet. Very classic. Classic. Yep. My older son is James, so. Oh, you got a Matthew and a James. Yeah. Very biblical. Yeah. Going oh, yeah. On there. Yeah. <laughs> and how's your older son, James, enjoying Matthew? Okay, so everyone warned me, of course, like you need to shower the older one with like attention and you don't want them to feel left out. That's what they say. Yeah. Yes. I don't know if you did the same thing. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. My daughter just she just demands it. Is just okay, not good. even like a. <laughs> it's not a question. Yeah. Right. You. you yeah. I am going overboard. I am like so worried about James feeling left out that I find myself like insulting the baby <laughs> and to like win James's approval. I'm like, it's just he's Matthew's a baby. He's, he's dumb. <laughs> it's so mean to the baby. The baby's like seven weeks old. He's like, ah. And I'm like, I'm like, you know, James, Matthew can't do what you can do because he's an idiot. <laughs> so mean. You, I love you, Matthew. Yeah. But you're a little dumb. Wow, that's it. that will be interesting to see how that kind of manifests itself. I know. Because I think I'm like so James knows what I'm saying. And I'm a people pleaser. So yeah. I'm like, Matthew will never remember that I said this. But James will. Do you so feel guilty at all that you had a second baby after your first beautiful prized baby was born and now you have to split the attention? I it's a complicated thing. I mean, yeah. I will answer you honestly. It feels so strange. It's like someone has, someone made this comparison to me. It's like you have the love of your life, and then one day you just bring home someone. You're like, oh, by the way, this other person will be joining us too. Yeah, it's, it's very, like the it's complicated. It's like The Bachelor, really, in yes. a way. <laughs> <laughs> You're it from is. St. Louis. My yeah. wife is from St. Yes. Louis. And you live in New York. This is where you've chosen to live. Yeah. In fact, when you did The Office, you moved out to L.A. Yep. You moved right back to New York as soon as it was over. Yeah. It, but St. Louis and New York are very, very different places. Yes, and you yes. know this as well. You go to St. Louis a lot. People are different. People, they're very friendly there. They're very wholesome. In St. Louis. In St. Louis. Yes. yes. There are some in Brooklyn. <laughs> but I do think when you go to New York, you have to adopt sort of a different... Maybe, like, I learned... You can't necessarily say hi to everyone. You have to be a little bit tougher. And when, <laughs> what happens when you say hi to people? I, can I say it on national television? Yeah. I say when you say, if you say hi to someone, and they, I think everyone in New York is like proud of being in New York. Yeah. And so the friendliness manifests itself in a way where they just don't say hi back. Does that make sense? <laughs> like they're just mean, but in a nice way. <laughs> they're not mean. Yeah. There's a gruff, a gruff but lovable quality. That's to New gruff Yorkers. but lovable. Yes. Yes. yes you. Well, no, you're just lovable. I mean, well, no, no, I know what you mean. Yeah, I, yeah I, well, I'm from New York you're, also. Yeah. But it's, yes, it's different. It, there's a different thing yes. going on. Yes. And so I, I feel like, okay, well, I need to, I can't smile at everyone like a little rube. So when I first moved <laughs> here years ago, I adopted a tough face. But my tough face, in my head, it's so tough. But this, Can I see what the tough yeah, face looks like? The okay. tough face is just. <laughs> <laughs> and I think, I like looked at, oh, I'll look at myself as I do it. Yeah, that just, it looks no. like I'm hungry. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> or, yeah, unhappy, like, yeah. It looks like, like your sister got more yogurt than you did. <laughs> that would, oh, now I'm mad. Yeah, that so, is, yeah. Well, now there, I yeah. can see, now I'm getting nervous. <laughs> you should. This is your autobiography. Yes. May yes. I ask, is this squirrel you have on the, on the cover? Yeah. Is that a live New York squirrel? Let's or? be honest. Okay, the squirrels in New York are a different breed altogether. Mm -hmm. They are insane. They're way too comfortable around people. And stay away, I guess you're all from New York, but stay away from the squirrels in New York. This particular- The squirrels are just like pe the people here, really. Absolutely. Like, you have to approach them properly or they'll strangle you. Yes, yeah. that's right. They're just gruff. <laughs> they're, they're not lovable, just gruff. <laughs> that is Photoshop, but the actual oh. probably. I mean, how could we have possibly gotten this shot? Yeah, that has to be Photoshop. But the squirrel was real. His name was Squirrel. His trainer's really? name. Really? Yes. I love this part. His <laughs> trainer's name was Bambi. Bambi was a human. Bambi was a person. A person. Squirrel was a squirrel. And I'm bad with animals. Like, uh -huh. I didn't, never had a pet. And so it like, took some doing to get a good photo, I think. Whose idea was it to put an actual squirrel on the cover? Is that something you wanted as part of the I don't know who's actual. In my original idea, I thought, wouldn't it be funny if the squirrel were, like, thrashing at me and I was, like, bloody and he was, like, 
Then I thought, what are you talking? You want the squirrel to do that to you? That's insane. <laughs> no, you definitely don't want the squirrel to do that no, to you. No, and you want to sell books. Do you so no feel blood. like after writing an autobiography and everyone in your life and the people who really are interested in you reading this, yeah. that you have no stories left to tell? Correct. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure I had, it's a very thin book. You're kind <laughs> to call it an autobiography. It's a collection, I, autobiography, I mean, what, what have I lived? I don't have that much to tell, but no, I, should, I want to sell books. I have a lot of things to talk you've about. You've been through a lot. Yeah. This journey you've been on is inspiring to millions. Thank you. <laughs> it's where you, you came to New York from St. <laughs> Louis and survived, and then you meet people and sometimes you put on a face yeah. and then they don't kill you. That's right. It's inspirational, it really Thank is. Thank you. Buy the book. <laughs> <laughs> and people can learn to do all that stuff. Yeah. By the way, one last thing I just want to say. Yeah. Thank you for, you were a part of our All in the Family revival, revival on ABC. That's exactly right. Thank you. Yeah. And you did a fantastic job. I won the lottery. I was so happy. In fact, you were one of the first people who I like indirectly told about my pregnancy. Because That's of that. right. Yeah, because I felt like, oh, they need to be aware in case something right. should come to light. But it was such... An honor to be a part we of the show. We wanted to fire you immediately when you heard that, but we, <laughs> the lawyer said it was illegal, I guess, so. I thought that would be your interest. It'll be in the next book. That's, I, now I have a story. <laughs> There's the book. It's called My Squirrel Days. Ellie Kemper, everybody. Thank you, Ellie. And we're right back with The National. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. Click below to subscribe to our YouTube channel, or if you want to be that way about it, don't.